Hi, I'm uh, Glenn Shoesmith. I'm the CEO and founder of BookingBug. Um, BookingBug is a customer journey management platform, which means we help banks and retailers connect their customers from uh, the digital world back to the physical world. We use appointments, events, queues, and other tools to basically help give the customers a better experience and get them back into the branches. Well, I mean, clearly open banking is, going to, is, the, is the topic that everyone's talking about. It's a lot of what the other uh, vendors are here to speak about. And it's obviously something that's on everyone's lips, but ultimately it all comes down to you know, customers. It's, it's interesting to see everyone starting to really put the customer first. But the key thing there is the digital challenger banks that have really made people think about customer service, think about customer satisfaction, and giving customer access to their things that maybe they didn't before. So we're actually here, and it's an interesting controversial thing, we're here to save the branch in many regards. You know, a lot of people are talking about how to compete with the digital banks, and some, some banks start to see their staff and their branches more as a millstone around their neck than they do see them as an asset to be used well. And obviously some of the companies are here talking about how they've done branch of the future, bank of the future, showcasing innovative ways to use branches better. But ultimately, you know, it's about using your staff better and connecting them in a way that uh, online digital only banks can't. For a lot of banks, it's doing the same kind of thing that retailers are struggling with, competing with Amazon. It's offer something that Amazon can't. So it's offer something that a digital bank can't. It's the human interactions, and the ability to have impactful human interactions for high value transactions uh, that you can't do offline, you can't do online only. So BookingBug works across multiple different industries. You know, we're strongest in, in finance, uh, but in retail and in government. So we work for central government, we work for a whole bunch of big name retail, department stores, uh, and all kinds of different chains. In the banking world in particular, uh, we work with companies like US Bank, um, Argenta, ANZ, so banks all around the world really focused on sort of digital transformation. That varies hugely. It's the classic sort of how long's a piece of string. Uh, it can be very, very quick. We rolled out a pilot for, for US Bank in 11 weeks. Um, we've rolled out retailers in, in three or four weeks for you know, proof of concepts or, or particularly when it comes to Christmas and they need things quickly. However, sometimes it's part of a big strategic digital transformation project and it could take a year while they're reinventing how everything works because it's not just around the customer journey. Sometimes you're completely reinventing how your staff work and that's not a change to be done lightly. So often we find we're part of a gradual rollout, you do proof of concepts and you scale it from there. At the end of the day, you know, any IT system tends to be complicated. And in fact, one of the biggest problems we face sometimes is uh, misperception that what we do is easy. Uh, we often work with banks where they're like, oh, well, it's a simple solution, right? It'll just take, you know, we'll have it done in no time. It'll be rolled out as quick as anything because it's just a calendaring tool. And the, our best clients are ones that have done this several times, failed, spent a few million and realized it's far more complicated than they understand. You know, there's a huge amount of integrations, technical integrations to be done. We've got a very flexible platform. We've got a lot of APIs and SDKs. There's integrations with calendaring tools, CRM tools, single sign-on tools. And inevitably, when you start with a client, you'll find it scales the use cases and it scales the technical implications. So sometimes the, the, the best clients are the ones that know it's going to be complicated rather than have a sort of wishful hope that it's something that's going to be simple. Ultimately, it's about providing more and more tools to help the customer and the business interact better. So obviously, you start with appointments and events, and you do queuing, but you also move on to things like chat conversations, video conversations, phone calls, and then you start to mix the media as well. So you might connect a physical conversation one-to-one, -one, but then also dial in a particular expert over a video conference who's in a separate location. You might have the customer go somewhere where he goes to a video booth and he's dialing someone in a completely different time zone. And the best combination is when you're utilizing the technology well to help create a better interaction with the human.